Good morning, YouTubers. Rob Mohamed. Guys, today I'm asking you a question. Who's your favorite doctor on YouTube? Or a nurse or a medical practitioner or witch doctor or shaman, or whatever, whoever you get really good advice from on YouTube about medical problems. I've got a playlist I've had for, oh, 13 years maybe, and I got a ton of videos, but they always had a private, it was a pri private playlist. I, today I opened up to the public and I thought I'd go over, there's two or three people on my playlist that has helped, that have helped me. Whenever you, you want information from someone about who's your favorite doctor, you want to ask them, what did they do for you? <laughs> I used to work with this lady from Haiti, a very nice lady, Carol Duverneau, and she was new and she wanted to ask people who was a doctor that could help her. And, uh, and uh, so I gave them my doctor and she said, what did he do for you? What did he do for you? And I couldn't answer. He never did anything for me. Like, what did Vinnie Boombats do for anybody? You know, like, like so if you, if someone recommends a doctor, you want to ask them, what did they do for you? Well, there, I got a ton of videos on my channel of the medical help and information, but only a few of them have really come to the front and helped me. Dr. McCall is one of them I've got really good information from. Also, John, he's not a doctor, but I've got a lot of good information about the raw food diet from him. Um, I've got a lot of videos myself I've made on medical problems over the years. Uh, Dr. Gregor, well, Patriot Nurse is another good one. She's got some very good information. When I had my AFib, this was the best person on YouTube. Uh, he got, he actually, I got better information from him than my cardiologist, and I love my cardiologist. This is Dr. Gupta. He has a, a channel called Your Cardiology. I've recommended him before. He's got a great channel. This is Dr. Gregor's channel, iHealthTube.com. I've he's he's kind of prejudiced toward the whole plant food diet, and uh, he but he is evidence based. He goes over studies, but sometimes you can find studies to prove anything, you know. But I I like the fact he's given me a lot of information I wasn't aware of. Like if you if you take dairy with blueberries, the health benefits you get from blueberries is diminished by the, uh, the I think it's the lactic acid in, in the dairy. So you don't want to take it together, right? Uh, you want to wait uh, between taking both of them. You know, don't have them, even though dairy and blueberries is great tasting. But so I've, I've learned a lot from him. And I take some things that I, I didn't know about. The, uh, some of the other people, they may not be doctors, but I've learned a lot from them. Uh, these, I don't have, also, I don't have all these medical conditions that they're talking about uh, in some of the videos, but I thought they would be handy to know for anything that would happen in the future. Um, the, uh, this was a very good person to help with yoga. I thought that was interesting. Um, Steve's World, he's not a doctor. He's just a Florida uh, guy like I am, and he's got some really cool, uh, helpful, do-it-yourself stuff. He's used over the years. He does very good work with bees um, and some other things. He grows and, 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 and does himself. As time goes by, I think more and more people are going to have to be proactive and take care of their own health. They're going to have to get excellent information from the medical uh, world, but, but they're going to have to also do stuff on their own. Like here's a doctor I like, the reflux doc. He, he went over in detail how to make a nasal spray to help eliminate the pain you get from uh, acid reflux. And he showed how you can make it at home. Very simple, very safe, cost-effective. And uh, that's the kind of doctor I like, the reflux doc. In fact, I made a video about his method. Um, this is Dr. Brewer. I've got some good information from him. He is a big fan of one test that I asked my cardiologist about. <laughs> and my doctor said, that's garbage. It's useless. <laughs> so I, I don't know who to believe, but, but I, I do like his emphasis on being proactive and uh, uh, preventive health medicine, whereas some of the other doctors, it's uh, fix it after you got it, you know. Um, I've made a lot of videos myself here. The This is a fella, I think he's, he has a PhD, but he's not a medical doctor. He wrote the book on melatonin. Um, I forgot his name. I'll leave a link to it. And he's, he, I take very few medicines. In fact, I don't really take any medicine anymore. Uh, I take supplements. I'm pretty healthy now. But I do take melatonin at night. And because of some of the reasons he mentioned in his book, it's very, very detailed, uh, exhaustive 
uh, a medical book on melatonin. He, he he wrote the book on it. And the thing of it is, he's still like he's like in his 80s, and he's still out there. You know, very uh, uh, his cognitive abilities are excellent. He's still a very healthy individual. So you you want to <laughs> you want to listen to people who, you know, like I worked on the ship one time and. The first ship I was ever on, they had a really skinny cook, and it was some of the worst cooking I ever had. You know, you don't want to eat food from a skinny cook. Well, you don't want to listen to a medical advice from a doctor who looks like he's ready to croak, you know. <laughs> and uh, some of the people that you get information from don't look too healthy. But uh, Bob and Brad, I've recommended them before. In fact, I have shoulder impingement that I'm working on now, and it's getting better from the exercises they, they recommend. However, I since I have that ailment, I started looking at other videos, and there are other people, uh, physical therapists, that also have some excellent videos. So don't, if you have any problem, don't just look at one person or get advice from one area. You can, like, I got extra information from other videos about shoulder impingement, not just Bob and Brad, but, but overall, they're very prolific. They've made tons of videos. And they do very good work. I like their channel a lot. Um, so I'm interested to see what you guys think about who are your favorite doctors, who do you get information from that you trust. And most importantly, I don't want to know who you really like unless you can say, what what to do for you? <laughs> what is Vinny Boombat going to do for me? Here's Tim Ferriss. He's not a doctor, but he has on a lot of good people. And he's an excellent interviewer, and you get a lot of good information from his show, along with the, uh, Mark Hyman. Although sometimes his stuff is a little, I almost political. I think sometimes I kind of shy away from him sometimes. Um, Doctor Berg, he is a, I think he's a cardi, uh, a chiropractor, which I don't have a lot of faith, but he looks as healthy as you can be, and he, I've gotten a lot of good information from him. I I don't know if he gives that much information. You couldn't get from going to uh, Wikipedia, but uh, he, he puts it all together very well. He's very good at explaining things, and uh, um, he's, he's, I think he's a good source of information. Um, you see, I have a lot of these from Dr. Gregor, iHealth.tube.com. He's got a lot of good information. People have recommended Dr. Gundry to me. I haven't watched him a lot, but I do, I do like him. But he's, he's controversial because he says things about diet, which people are going crazy over because everybody has a different opinion on it. Um, this is a fellow who recommends the mini trampoline that I use, but he looks very buff. Like, it, I don't see how you can get looking as uh, uh, muscles as good as he has by jumping on a trampoline. <laughs> I really don't. But uh, this was on the Howard Stern Show, How to Use Oxygen... Uh, treatment. Joe Namath, he's talking about how he reversed his brain damage uh, by using oxygen therapy. I thought that was a great video. Um, you have some uh, very relaxing music on YouTube that is medical in a way. It can help with your stress. I like this one a lot um, with Green Red Productions. Um, there's one other person I'm missing. Let me see if I can get down to the bottom here. Poop. Tom Bilyeu, he's got some good information. He does a lot of good interviews. Well, that might be... Old Alabama Garden, he's not a doctor, but he's on a journey of, of improving his health. And he's in his 80s, and he's doing a lot of things. And it's very interesting, and he gives the results. I kind of enjoy listening to him, uh, how he's uh, faring with his journey on, on and better health, being proactive. So leave in the comments, who do you like, and what did he do for you? <laughs> uh Keep looking for the person. Boop, boop, boop. Well, we're just going to have to leave that fella out. Or maybe it was, a, I don't know who it was. I could have swore there was somebody else. Well, guys, I hope that was something helpful for you. I just opened up this 
playlist to the public. It's been private all these years. And I thought these are some of the most interesting videos I saw regarding health. And those are some of the best people I like. And I'm very interested to see who do you like? Who are your favorites? And most importantly, why do you like them? And these are some of my other many, many playlists I have. And almost all of them are, are public. So hope you like that. Something helpful to you. And uh, I, I, like I said, please leave why you like the people you like. And this is my channel. Put on new videos every week, every Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We do reviews, do-it-yourself, outdoors, food, fishing, and fun. And uh, got a bunch of cool people I feature on my channel too. No relation to me, didn't deny it to me. <laughs> and uh, I think this is uh, going to be a good video if you guys are going to uh, help out everybody else and uh, leave who has helped you out when your journey to get better at your health. All right, guys, I'm rambling now. Um, off script. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> See you out there.